In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Cloudflare domain over to Shopify. This will be a very simple and quick tutorial, so follow along and get your domain connected. So first you want to go to Cloudflare and once you're here, you need to find your domain. So I'm going to domain registration and then we can go to manage domains and here you'll see all of your domains. So I'm going to add online video how to.com. We can click on manage and once we've done that and we're on manage, we can go update DNS configuration. That will load up the back end of our domain where we can go ahead and add the relevant DNS records. Now inside of Shopify, you need to go to settings in the bottom left. And this is when you've logged in, by the way. Once you've gone to settings, you can then find domains. So let's find domains. So that will be here. We can then click on that. Now what you need to do is connect an existing domain because we've already bought the domain on Cloudflare. So click on that and then enter in your domain. So my domain is onlinevideohowto.com. So we'll go www.onlinehowtovideo.com. We'll click next. Now what we need to do, we need to go ahead and add some CNAME records. Now you can go ahead and click follow settings instructions. It will open up the Shopify page. This page though is pretty useless. I don't know why they don't make it easier. I'm gonna really just make it easier. Just so just follow me. Now in the description of the video, um, I will have some records. We need to add a C name record and an A record. And let me just show you here what you need to do. So go ahead and go to your DNS management. Now the first record we're gonna add is gonna be a C name record. So go add record, change the type here to C name. And then for the name type www. Here where it says target, you wanna go to the video description and type in shops.myshopify.com. Then go back to Cloudflare and paste it in here. And then what you can do, you can click on save and that should save that CNAME record. Make sure you turn proxy status off and then click save. Okay, so now we've added that CNAME record. Now let's go to add record again. We need to now add an A record. Now what you wanna do is copy this IP4 address, 23.227.38.65 and then go back to Cloudflare. Now here where it says name, type at, and then for the IP4 address, paste in the IP4 address, which will be in the description, turn off proxy status, then click save. And then you should have added your A record. Now you've got an A record and a C name record. Okay, so now we'll go back to Shopify. We can verify the connection and it's going to then verify your connection between the domain name and Shopify. Now this could take up to 48 hours for everything to go through. You can see the SSL is still pending. Um, but you just need to be patient and wait and the SSL will be generated and everything will be connected. Now, if you go ahead and copy your domain and you then paste it, it should then go to Shopify. When you enter in your domain, it gives you this error and it says the domain points to Shopify but isn't configured properly. And you also get this SSL pending error. Uh, you'll probably be able to fix that in Cloudflare. So I'm gonna show you how. So in Cloudflare, go to your back end of your domain again, go to SSL. Once you're inside of SSL, go to configure, and then you want to go ahead and change it from flexible to custom SSL, and then you wanna change it to full strict. So once you've changed it to full and strict, click save, and then that should update the SSL certificate. So once you've made that change, it then should be working. Now, if it says that your domain has a Cloudflare proxy, which is not supported, now don't worry because in 48 hours, this um, needs attention banner will disappear as long as you've not got the proxy enabled. So if this is gray, you should be fine. Now, just double check that your domain is working. Maybe give it like 10 minutes for everything to propagate. But if you copy your domain and then go to it, as you can see, it redirects to my store. My store isn't set up, but you can see it is working. Those are the fixes and that's how you do it.